What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I'm gonna be starting a new series. I think I'm gonna call it Conversations with Zay. What do you think I should call it, bro? It's, it's gonna be like a podcast y type of, you know what I'm saying? Introduce people, bring them in, talk about certain topics. Yeah, something like Zay Talk, something like. Talking it up with Zay, I don't know, something yeah, like that. I don't, something like something along those lines. If you if you got a good idea, let me know in the comment section below. Always be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. Yes, I'm like sir. at a hundred. We got you know what I'm saying. We got like four months. My teeth look crazy. Ooh, this light is crazy. All right, so this is my boy Andres. Andres, gang, gang. You introduce yourself, bro. Like tell him. Tell them who you are, tell them what you should, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my name is Andres, I don't know. I like, uh, I'm from Denver, I go to USC. I'm a economics major, I'm a data science major. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, why do you, why do you decide your economics? Like, what's your, talk about your major. Why do you, why do you major in that? Uh, I chose economics because it's a good major at, um, in Thornside because that's the school that I'm in, Thornside at USC. So yeah, I wanted to get into business and stuff like that. But I feel like economics is a better like pathway, you know? Uh, yeah, and I'm good at math, so like I could hang with it. Uh, the math isn't that hard though, and yeah. So like that's your major, right? Yeah, that's my major. So um, what's, gonna, what's like your desired job when you graduate? Um, well, I'm doing data science because like I'm trying to get into AI, so that's why I'm doing data what, science. What's AI? Artificial intelligence. So trying to like teach machines how to learn, uh, how to think, and like and things like that. Control and shit, right? Yeah, exactly. Like robots uh, having you know some sort of brain. So that's what you're trying to get into. So that's why you're doing economics. Yeah. Well, okay. that's why I'm doing data science. Uh, I have two majors, so I have data science and economics. Economics, just because it's good to know business and, and the economics of the world. Data science for AI, you know. Mm, okay. Dual, dual threat, double threat. So what is the, what is like the workload for that type of major? That, those classes, like what, is it like, does it, is there a specific classes that you have to take for that specific major? Like what it, what's, um, what's um, unique about that major as, as far as the classes that you take? I mean, what's unique about it is uh, the specified classes towards it. Like I have to take data science classes. I'm taking an AI course um, coming this semester. And then economics, obviously it's economic heavy. So math and uh, economic courses. Um, yeah, um, the workload is kind of, it's difficult because I'm a STEM major. So, you know, I got to take Calc 1, Calc 2, stuff like that. Um, last semester I took, or two semesters ago, I took chemistry. So. That was pretty uh, heavy, um, different sciences and different STEM related uh, classes that you gotta take as requirements do make it like challenging, but I don't say it's impossible. I mean, it's just that you have like a high workload, you know, but it's all about time management, you know, manage your time and you can get it done. Um, did you always want to do that? Or like, did, did that just come up recently? Did you want to do that in high school? Did you want to do that like when you were a kid? Like how did, how did you fall upon that? Um, no, nah, I didn't even know like what data science was till like about two or three years ago. So it's a, it's a new field and that's why I find it exciting because it's like AI is the future. So it's like future jobs, future like, uh, it's a new topic in, in society, you know, um, beforehand I wanted to be a, uh, like a brain researcher or even when I was little I wanted to be like a mad scientist type thing so like I always like science I always like chemistry like always just just science in general you know mm -hmm. um so I started off as a neuroscience major because I wanted to study the brain how the brain works and stuff like that which I, I still think is cool I still think the brain is awesome but um I don't necessarily want to be a doctor or anything like that um so I thought I was like why not try to help make a brain you know using uh, machine learning, so stuff like that. Not necessarily make a brain, you know, but uh, get into data science and get into machine learning and uh, algorithms like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so so you go to USC, right? Mm -hmm. So um, 
the when you were a freshman, what was the experience? How has it changed from the freshman to sophomore? Uh, I'm, honestly, I haven't started sophomore year yet. Um, barely getting started. Or like, this. or like having like one year under your belt. Like, what do you know? What's different that you know? Because obviously we're in August. Yeah. Started, so like, what's My different? mindset is completely different. You know, like, uh, like coming into college, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what it was gonna be like. But now second year. I'm like, yeah, I kind of do know what to expect. I'm sure it's still going to be hard. The workload's still going to be heavy, but at least I know kind of what it's going to feel like, uh, kind of what to do. You know, I have an advisor. Um, I have to schedule appointments. I have to make sure I select my classes. Um, you know, certain certain little things like uh, this is a GE means this. I need a GEA, GEB. Obviously, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but that's kind of an example that an example that popped into my head um just certain things that you kind of pick up along the way that i picked up uh freshman year that are gonna go a long way this year uh just like i'm not being thrown into the deep end without knowing how to swim i kind of uh figured that out last year so i'm excited for this year and it should be a lot more smooth sailing as far as i can hope for um how many how many years of schooling do you have to do for to do what you want to do uh, I want to do, I want to do a master's, but technically you only need four. You only need undergrad to get a job uh, right away. They're hiring right away. Um, but if you get a master's, obviously more doors open for you. So I do want to try and uh, get a master's. And at USC, they have what's called a PPD program, which lets you get a master's in one year ex instead of two years. So that's what I want to do, uh, ideally. Hmm. Yeah. Um, why, what's like, what would be your advice? Cause you have one year of studying this certain subject, right? Yeah. So what, what would be your advice to incoming freshmen that are like coming into like, um, into that field to start studying it? Like what, what advice would you give them? Um, uh, for people studying economics, I would just, the advice I would give them is to study their math, uh, get ahead in math, like Calc 1, Calc 2, um. You know, practice that. Um, math isn't necessarily like something that nobody can do. You know, it just takes practice. Um, and then data science as well, just I'm taking math heavy uh, majors. So if you want to do like the same route or a similar route, I would just uh, say to polish up on your math. And uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the best at math. I just have practiced for like uh, a long time. So just make sure to put in the work and you'll see results for sure. Did you ever want to be an engineer? Um, my uncle is an engineer. He's a civil engineer. And uh, he kind of inspired me to become one. But I took like engineering courses in high school because they have pre-engineering in high school. Mm. And I didn't really like it. So, um, but I'm sure, I'm sure I would enjoy it if, uh, if I stuck with it a little longer. Like, especially like biomedical engineering. There's a lot of different types of engineering. And I'm sure I would have found my niche if I would have stuck with it. I used to be, well, I still am kind of good at math, but like when I was in high school and middle school, everybody told me that I should be an engineer because I was good at math, but I don't know. I never like thought about it, you know? Yeah, engineers, if you're good at math, you should become an engineer. And there's honestly a lot of things you can do if you're good at math. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yes, sir. What do you think, how do you think it would be different in the, in your certain field if you didn't go to USC? like? Uh, I mean, USC has that brand, you know, it has that uh, prestige um, that kind of sets you apart from, from you know, uh, other colleges unless they have the same kind of prestige or, or brand to them. That's really all it is. It's not necessarily anything else, but more of like an attention getter on resumes, I guess, or, uh, you know, a little like eyebrow raise from employers. Mm. Okay, so when you came to USC, right? Mm. Um, did you like find your community really fast? Like, did you find the people that were like you? Like, how was it, how was it different? Like finding your community in Southern California? Uh, no, I feel like my roommate was cool and then the people uh, on my floor were cool. But outside of that, you know, uh, it was kind of hard to find my community just because I felt a little out of place as a, like a Hispanic Latino. Um, in, 
in a predominantly white institution, but also, I don't know, in college in general, like, I don't know, I just kind of felt out of place, uh, didn't feel like I fit in too much, but I quickly, I quickly found my home when I met people from the fraternity Lambda Theta Phi, which is a, the Hispanic uh, fraternity, it's a Latino, a Latin based fraternity, so, um, a lot of different ethnicities and a lot of different uh, races and people from different countries. But um, yeah, it's a Latin based fraternity and uh, the people who were part of it, who go to USC were like my my people, you know, I just fit in with them and they were really welcoming and they would have me over to their house and they would make, uh, you know, carne asadas and stuff like that. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed the, the, the feeling of home that they brought. So um i was quick to join that yeah so people that have never been in college they don't they've never been a fr around a fraternity what what is a fraternity like explain that uh i would just define it as a brotherhood just a brotherhood you know like a, a an organization of just uh of, of men young men aspiring to do uh, different professional and uh, fraternity is only men, right? Yeah, fraternity is only uh, male identifying people, and then sororities are female identifying uh, people. So uh, I joined a fraternity, uh, Latin based fraternity, so it was uh, all Hispanics inside uh, the fraternity I joined. And yeah fraternities is just like a brotherhood like you get together you guys um you guys bond you guys hang out you guys get really close and because of that uh it it becomes very beneficial to do things like for example i have a roommate with uh two other fraternity members and that was a uh, really awesome to have and then uh five of them have a house on exposition boulevard and that's where they invite me over all the time so uh, you just get perks from being in a big group like that. Um, and it also gives you recognition on campus and helps you develop professionally as well. Like a sense of community almost. Yeah, a sense of community. It's a little, it's like your, uh, yeah, sense of community. Um, and for you, what would you say is the purpose of a fraternity? The purpose of a fraternity for me, um, I'm away from home. I'm from Denver. I'm in Cali right now. So purpose of a fraternity for me was to have a little family out here. Um, I really do treat them like a family. Uh, they really do treat me like a family. We're close like that. Um, you know, I could go over whenever. They could come over whenever. Um, we're just a backbone that leans on each other. Um, so the purpose of a fraternity is to support yourself, you know, have others, other people you can count on and uh, support you, you know? Yeah. Um... Obviously, I feel like I've never like really considered being in a fraternity. I feel, my mom kind of like told me like you should join a fraternity when you go to college with you. But like I feel like with fraternities, there's a lot of things that are like unknown. Like there's a um, yeah, real mysterious. Yeah, exactly. So like, what is what are things about a fraternity you didn't learn until you got? It, it's called crossed, right? Like when you get yeah um, I, initiated or whatever. Yeah, when you I, get jumped into the fraternity. You know? <laughs> nah, I didn't get jumped <laughs> in, but I I got crossed. I crossed into the fraternity. Um, there's a lot of things I didn't know about uh, crossing into the fraternity, and honestly, I can't share most of those things because it is mysterious. It is uh, quote unquote confidential. But what I can tell you is that. Um, I didn't know how uh, how like uh, how beneficial process can be for you and how how um, it can be pretty profound the the process of joining a uh, fraternity. So uh, it's no it's no light task. At least it was it for me. You know, it was uh, it took hard work. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of like so obviously when you meet these people and you like start hanging out with them then you're like oh maybe like it would be cool to be a part of this like mm -hmm. so like what type of things went across your mind when you were thinking about putting in like when you were um considering joining the fraternity like what type of things did you think about um 
I mean, there's always that classic thing, uh, that classic stigma that comes with joining a fraternity, like, oh, it's a frat dude, oh, it's uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I obviously thought about that, and I didn't want, necessarily want to label myself as a fraternity member or frat dude or whatever, um, and I didn't want that stigma to come with me. Um, but the reason I joined it was because those brothers supported me. Uh, they provided a home for me, carne asada for me, and they were always there for me like a family. And so that's why I joined it, uh, regardless of the stigmas that came behind it. I kind of uh, didn't want to put myself in that group necessarily, but joined it for other reasons. Yeah. Um, so, like, obviously there's going to be freshmen that are going to be coming into, that are going to be around. They're going to see um, certain things going on at the school. They're going to see these fraternities. They're going to see be around these different communities and they're going to be like hmm like maybe it would be cool to join or like or maybe they're like uh nervous about you know what i'm saying they're like nervous about being um associated with lambda they're like so what advice would you give them uh i mean obviously a fraternity just like everything else is not for everybody um it's either you like it or you don't um but just know what you're getting yourself into. It's just uh, more than anything a brotherhood, you know, a brotherhood, a family, a, uh, a group of people you can call family, at least for Lambda. And so um, if you kind of want a community like that, um, then I, I truly recommend joining it. Um, if you're kind of antisocial or don't necessarily need a community, I feel like there's other places to find uh, communities like growing class, um, stuff like that where uh, others share the same interests as you. You don't always have to join a fraternity and don't feel like you have to join a fraternity to, you know, fulfill your college life or, or yeah. Um, have the full college experience. Right, 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 there you go. Yeah. So yeah, you don't necessarily need to join a fraternity for that. It's just there as a resource, you know, as a resource. So for you personally, with your, um, with your economics and your, um, what is it? Data science. CI. Or no, no, not CI. What is um, artificial AI? Yeah. So with AI and with economics, how have um, your fraternity or your brotherhood how have they helped you? Like, how have they helped guide you through that? Those maybe like those decisions that you had to to make with those classes or like you know what I'm saying? How have they helped guide you? Right, so coming in, I mean, I, I didn't know much about how college was, how it worked. Um, and these these members in my fraternity, my brothers, um, they're like they're like 21, 22, you know, they're seniors. So they already went through the path. Uh, three of them graduated this year. So they already did all of undergrad college. So they were a resource there for me to ask them questions about how does college work? What can I do in college? Um, and they're really smart individuals, you know, they go to USC. So obviously they would provide uh, in-depth answers and in-depth advice, which is really awesome. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really grateful for my brothers, you know. Um, so for like incoming freshmen or like incoming, like <clears throat> kids that are gonna go to college, go to USC, um, why should they consider um, joining Lambda? Like why should they consider joining your fraternity? Yeah, so my fraternity is Lambda Theta Phi, Latin-based fraternity, um, Latin Fraternity Incorporated. Um, you should join Lambda more specifically if you're, uh, if you're, if you feel more comfortable in like uh, Hispanic environments or like where the majority of the population is Latin-based um, because most people in Lambda are uh, Hispanic or Latino so you know uh, it's it's a space for for uh, you know to play Mexican music um, to play reggaeton stuff like that so uh, that's always fun uh, if, if that's something that you're into this is a space to you know feel feel comfortable uh, you know expressing your heritage expressing your culture and also if you're in need of a brotherhood or if you want some friends or a family you know I recommend it 100 percent yeah so i just wanted to bring my boy in yeah, yeah. 
I'm, I'm not, I don't go to university, so I don't really know. I know a little bit about fraternities, but like, you know what I'm saying? This is one of my closest homies. He's involved in fraternity, and he's in a fraternity, so he knows a lot. So I just want to bring him in, have him talk about his fraternity again. Yeah. Appreciate yes, you, sir. Andreas. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, yeah, I just had to answer the questions in an academic way, but you know, if y'all have any real questions or something like that, hit me up, you know? What's your. Uh, on IG is San Andreas, S A N dot A N D R E S. San Andreas, like Nowhere the movie, right? Me. Yes, sir, but without the A. Without the A, but. Alright, so, yeah. Just want to bring my boy in. We could just, you know what I'm saying? Why Tony? I don't know why Tony's looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to join a fraternity, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. I'm out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.